everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Or rather a fantastic weekend. I will be channeling the Divine Masculine for today's message. And we can begin straight away with the first card. I can still feel you. My beloved Divine Feminine. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you all around me and I feel you inside me. I feel you in the deepest centre of my heart. I feel you in the depths of my heart and my soul and my, <laughs> you know. I, I'm, I'm learning more about this connection. I'm moving into a space where I'm understanding this connection better than I used to. I'm seeing, I'm beginning to see the connection for what it is. I'm beginning to understand the connection for what it is. And that gives me hope. It gives me hope that I really may actually be worthy of having such a great love as what I could have with you. I'm, uh, I'm only starting to grasp at the possibility that I, I could have such a great love that I could have such a perfect eternal lover as yourself discover the secrets behind the light and begin your life today so there you go I'm, I'm accessing my hidden knowledge I'm Discovering the secrets of this divine truth, of, of this great love between you and me. And it's making me feel renewed. And I want to renew our connection. I want to re-establish a connection. I want to reinvent our union. I want to re-establish our union. If you gave me the chance to make things right between us. Now, I'm afraid of being rejection, rejected. I was so afraid of being rejected that I thought that by running first or rushing off and trying to distract myself with something else, then that would keep me safe. But it's done anything but because you're still with me. You're always with me. You always will be with me. No matter what I'm doing or who I'm doing it with, my heart and mind always comes back to you. Find your heart. Find your most precious resource inside of you. You fell in love with me because you saw something in me just like I fell in love with you because I saw something in you so all you have to do now is just locate that quality in yourself in your own heart and embody that be that shine with that and I will be tripping over my own feet to bring you everything that you desire and to get to this point, there is a cleansing process that's underway at the moment. I want to cleanse your energy, your aura of all these low vibrations, all these misaligned beliefs, everything that you are not, so you can truly shine as the divine being that you truly are, because you are a perfect child of the divine. Every upset, everything that needs working through is a stain on our divinity. But that's okay, because that's what we're healing now. That's what we're removing now. That's what we're working through now. All you have to do is keep going. And if you keep going, I'll keep... If you keep moving towards me, I'll move towards you, because uh, we are mirrors and my emotions mirror yours. Everything you choose, every core choice that you make, I have no option to, but to make at the same time, in the same moment. So 
So really choose yourself. Choose your happiness. Choose love. Choose peace. Choose your harmonious union. Uh, and above all, keep choosing love. And trust in yourself. Celebrate your true life. So that's trusting who you are as this perfect eternal divine being, this perfect eternal divine lover, my eternal divine lover. Trust in yourself that you are that. You are everything that you dream of, that you already have everything that you dream of because whatever you love, you are. Yeah, this is your true life, a true life of happiness, of fulfilment, of love, of passion, of never-ending joy with your eternal lover, with your ultimate lover. And that really is worth celebrating celebrate yourself i am completely enchanted by you you are absolutely magical just be be your authentic self be who you were created to be that's all you need to do because you really are an angel, you are divine, you are exquisite, you are you are perfect, you were born perfect, you will always be perfect, there is nothing you can do to make yourself any less perfect or any less lovable, because that's your intrinsic nature, there is nothing you can say or do that's going to stop me loving you. And that's why I want to marry you one day when the time is right. The only reason I haven't asked you already is because everything happens in its own divine order. And that's okay. It's all a process and the unfoldment is dependent on working that process. But that's what you're doing. You've got this. Work that process, baby. It was really me, not you. And please don't take anything personally in what I've done. I never consciously intended to hurt you or cause you angst or cause you pain or anything like that. I really have been loving you perfectly in doing my job of showing you the parts of yourself that are crying out for love and the parts of yourself that require going into and healing by bringing divine love there. So please understand that whatever I'm doing, even if it's trigger, triggering as fuck, in doing so, I am completely loving you perfectly in every way as I do it. And you really must come to a place of understanding that from beginning to end. And everything in between. And then I'll stop doing those things quicker. I'll stop doing those things quicker. And I can have my greatest desire. The, the greatest desire of my own come true. And that is to have you, the woman of my dreams... With me day and night, 24 hours a day, living one life as one, doing our life purpose together. The purpose of our harmonious union. So we can share that ultimate happiness with everyone that wants it. And it's okay to take, to take rest at this, at this time. If you've been working through some heavy stuff or there's been heavy emotions that you feel as they're leaving, it's okay to take it easy. It's okay to have a duvet day. 
Curl up, watch some Netflix, eat some chocolate, pamper yourself. But sometimes that is the best thing you can do in terms of your spiritual growth. Take it easy. Have a nap. It's just another way to care for yourself. Okay, my friends, I think I'm going to leave that there. I really hope you enjoyed this message and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.